It's 515, 39 degrees. The nation's first enlisted airman will have a proper burial at the birthplace of aviation. Here are the five things you need to know for the day ahead. Well, today is officially Halloween, and with many beggars' nights still planned for tonight, the folks at AAA are reminding us it's the deadliest night of the year for pedestrians. So we compiled some tips to keep your little ghosts and goblins safe. First, you want to carry a flashlight and use reflective tape or stickers on the costumes. Only cross the street at marked intersections and never dart into traffic. Trick-or-treaters under the age of 12 should be supervised by an adult. And remember, walk, never run. Well, today is the deadline for former NCR employees to decide whether they want to take pension plan payouts. 23,000 workers are eligible. The company hopes to complete the lump sum payouts by the end of the year. You might remember NCR moved its headquarters from Dayton to Georgia in 2010. Dayton auto workers will rally for President Obama today in Springfield. They plan to call attention to the Romney Ryan campaign ad, which they say falsely claims GM and Chrysler are outsourcing jobs. The rally starts at 3 o'clock at the UAW Local 402. That's on Urbana Road. Also in Clark County, Governor John Kasich and Senator Rob Portman will drum up support for Mitt Romney. It's part of the Commit to Mitt early vote bus tour, which started earlier this month. Today's visit gets underway at the Springfield Victory Center at 1130. The tour will also make stops in Union, Franklin, and Fayette counties. A proper and long overdue burial for the nation's first enlisted airmen. Corporal Edward Ward will have his grave marked with full military honors during a special ceremony at the Date Memorial Park and Cemetery. Until now, his grave remained unmarked. Ward enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1901, and then in 1907, he joined the Aeronautical Division. Today's ceremony starts at 1 o'clock. It will be attended by Congressman Mike Turner and members of Ward's family. You can always find more information on these or any of today's top stories online at WDTN.com. Marsha J.